hello and welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i am able to install this braided wig looking like this without applying a makeup foundation and without a lace glue as well so with just two products i have been able to achieve this installation if you are the type that hates using your makeup foundation for your lace your wig lace just as i am then this video is for you first i'm going to sew elastic band on the lace of the wig so i measure 7.5 centimeters and that is the most suitable measurement i usually use for my wigs and it helps fit a lot and this is how it came out and then i'm going to attach some wig combs onto the wig as well I'm going to attach another wig comb to the first one that I have already sewn on the lace and this is going to help to hold the wig very firm. I'm going to be using the lace tint mousse and I'm going to be using two different lace tint mousse because they all comes with two different colors and then I'm going to go with a lace bond. I have my edge control gel from Cantu and then the last thing I'll be using is my bald cap. I'll then take down my babies. And I'm going to pull out some hair because I I realized that the hair is quite bulky. So I'm now going to cut the excess lace from the wig. So I'm going to cut it in a zigzag shape. I'm not going with a straight line. Because I want the hair to look natural. I'll be doing the installation on myself, and that is the more reason I decided to cut the excess lace on the mannequin. For that reason, I will see what I'm doing better than looking into the mirror. I'm now going to put this wig on my hair. My color is quite, <laughs> it's quite old because I knew I was going to have this video so I didn't want to take this color down but it's quite bulky but let's give it a try. So I'm putting this wig on my head and this is how it's going to look like without any bald cap this is how the wig should look like on your head not looking bad though So now let's get to the real business. I'm going to put some gel on my hair to pull my hair back because my hair is all grown and I just have to cover some of this growth. I 
I will then put my bald cap on my head just so you know this bald cap comes in two colors so when you are buying choose the one that suits your skin tone and this color goes with my skin tone so I made the wig myself I already have a video on how to make your own braid wigs and I have other videos on that same braid wigs you can check it out I'm going to leave the link in the description below or at the end of the video so let's do something about the lace and I'm first going to apply the keratin lace tint mousse I'm going to be listing all the product that I'll be using in this video in the description below so do well to check it so this is the color of the first mousse that I'm applying it is like a goldish yellowish color so I'm going to be using this on every part of the lace And I'm going to dry it with my hand dryer and this is how the lace is now looking after the first application so the next thing I'll be doing is applying the second mousse and is the NAB lace tint mousse and this is how it looks like some chocolate brownish color so I'm going to do same for this all over the lace So guys are you seeing the difference in the lace color right now so right now I'm going to put this wig on my head and let's find out how this is going to turn out guys at this point please if you like the video give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel i knew this coro is going to give me a headache when installing this wig so guys when you are installing any wig at all make sure that the cornrows that you're going to put on is quite small not very big because i'm finding it difficult here because of the sizes of my cornrow I will then spray some lace bond in front of my hair and this is just going to melt the lace and it's going to hold your wig just temporary. Make sure 
blow some air onto it to dry it. So in my next braid wig install video, I'll be doing with the makeup. Let's compare the makeup and the less things moves. Which one would you prefer and which one is favorable? So let's work on the babies. I'm not a fan of babies but let's give it a try so let's draw our edges with a Cantu styling gel so this is how the wig came out no glue no foundation but this is how it came out guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video give me a thumbs up share this video and please subscribe i'm gonna see you next time